Aquarius. This will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 25th through July the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for July the 25th through July the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for July the 25th through July the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for July the 25th through July the 26th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Aquarius, listen, you could be physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Aquarius, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. It is clarified with the magician. This is you, Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the air element, the fire element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the magician for Aquarius. Clarify the magician for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the magician for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Really? Flipping it. Flipping and dropping. <laughs> Flipping and dropping. Listen, clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead.
Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So Aquarius could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Aquarius. Clarify the chariot for Aquarius. Clarify the chariot for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Aquarius, you could be walking away or returning. Now, Aquarius, it just seems like you can tell me that you're wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You're ready to move on and move forward. You're ready to just leave, walk away from the relationship. But there is some type of an apology here. Now, either they're asking for forgiveness and apologizing to you, and they're wanting you to return to them, or it's you wanting to return to apologize to them, wanting forgiveness and a second chance here, okay? And even though they may be opting to apologize to you, you may decide to just still walk away. Let's see. Aquarius, you have the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Clarify the five of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the five of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the five of swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending and betrayal. So Aquarius, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down and devastation here. However, in Tarot, Tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. So, you know, you can tell me because of the tit for tat tug of war toe-to-toe, -to -toe, the mind games and manipulation, you're feeling a sense of betrayal. Or you're telling me because of this betrayal, you have an ax to grind here. So Aquarius, they could be coming in apologizing to you, asking for forgiveness and a second chance. And like I said, you may decide to just continue to just walk away or leave the situation in spite of this apology. We'll see. Aquarius, you have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is it's restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. 
being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground here. So Aquarius, listen, I feel like this is a toxic situation and you have your guard up here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Aquarius, you could also tell me that you're tempted but a little hesitant because they could be apologizing, asking for forgiveness and a second chance here, okay? Aquarius, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Aquarius. Clarify the hermit. For Aquarius, clarify the hermit. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the three of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now, Aquarius, you can tell me that, hey, I just want to be by myself because this person had a third party, making it toxic. That was the betrayal. Or you're telling me that you're taking some time out to seriously contemplate and soul search on whether or not to reunite with this person. Because again, someone's asking for forgiveness and a second chance and apologizing here. And you very well could be tempted, but a little hesitant. So thinking about reuniting with this person. After betrayal, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift. Anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Aquarius, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that there was some immature, premature communication or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. Clarify the page of cups. For Aquarius, clarify the page of cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. Hmm. 
Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But you can tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey. To do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Aquarius could be dealing with an Aries. But you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool or Aquarius. Clarify the fool for Aquarius. Clarify the fool for Aquarius. It is clarified with the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Aquarius, it's telling me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played, Aquarius. You know, Aquarius, you could have found that they came in to ask for forgiveness and a second chance, apologizing here. Coming in with some type of romantic gesture, offering you dinner and a movie and a nightcap or maybe some type of commitment or a token of love here, you know. But you were tempted, you didn't trust it. So you may have went on your quest to do some research here. And you could have found that they were still involved with someone here. They were still dealing with someone here. There still was another other lover here. And it has you highly disappointed, Aquarius, and hurt. But Aquarius, let me just ask. I, I just want to ask because something just doesn't sit right with me. <clears throat> Did you cause this betrayal, Aquarius? I want to say that this reading could be vice versa. Did you cause this betrayal? Is it you thinking on reuniting with this person? Did you have a chance to think about it? Did you have a third party? Are you feeling remorse and regret for having taken a chance or risking you guys' relationship with another other lover? Because it very well could be that, you know, you're trying to apologize to your partner, okay? You're looking in on them. You're wanting to come in with this offer of some type of practicality or commitment. You're at a place where you're feeling like, you know what, I'm going to be persistent because I want this. I can't give up on this. I can't let this go. Is it you wanting to return here to apologize and ask for forgiveness and a second chance for causing this betrayal? I just want to say, I don't know. I just feel like this reading could be vice versa, Aquarius. I just feel like it can. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you, Aquarius. It just doesn't sit well with me, you know. And so... I wonder if you're happy without me. Hmm. Aquarius, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 25th through July the 26th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.